learners welcome to today's lesson this is a continuation of revision questions for form one uh, adopted from past papers for KCSE. today we are continuing with the questions based on osmosis diffusion and active uh, transport so today we shall also look at uh, questions based on experimentation and data collected then uh, we start with the question one uh, which uh, we are going to read we have revision questions this is revision so we have question one in question one uh, the learner the, is uh, being asked why oxygen is important in the process of active transport. So this question uh, just requires that the learner should have had the knowledge about active transport. Active transport is a physiological process which requires energy. These are the two physiological uh, processes that is oxygen, uh, ox osmosis and uh, diffusion, they don't require energy. So here it's a learner should have mentioned about uh, how energy is produced and the energy is normally produced through aerobic respiration. So if energy is required, then oxygen is necessary because uh, it is required in the process of respiration. So here the learner was supposed to respond that uh, oxygen, uh, oxygen is required, is required in aerobic respiration. Respiration. Uh, and this aerobic respiration produces energy needed. Needed in active transport. active transport so that was uh, question one question one and this question is adopted from past paper 2001 paper one then uh, we have question two uh, which is is uh, now asking the learner to differentiate between diffusion and active transport diffusion and active transport so here uh, we have uh, uh, the learner distinguishing distinguish between diffusion and active transport. And active transport. So once the examiner uses the word distinguish so the learner should be able to give the differences as uh, as he's using the word while so that's how he's going to distinguish the learner should be able to distinguish clearly so as we know in diffusion molecules or particles move from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration and uh, vice versa, in the, and, in, and unlike in active transport where they move from a region of low concentration to a region of high concentration. So here we say the learner should have responded by, by saying in diffusion, in diffusion molecules move from high concentration to low concentration while so the word while is a very important that is how, how you distinguish while in active transport while in active transport molecules Or here, because it involves ions, you could mention uh, the word ions. So here, the ions 
are the ones that uh, so here we we have uh, we have the ions so ions they move from low concentration to high concentration to high concentration then two we know that uh, in active transport in active transport energy is needed energy needed while in diffusion no energy is needed no energy is needed so uh, remember the same thing here we are talking about energy even in this other question energy is needed so there it is not needed Thank <music> you.